So John Delaney decided to uh, go on Fox News to go after Democrats, and this is just sad. He ran to a, a conservative safe space because they were the only people who were going to give him some positive reinforcement. Because nobody on the left likes him because all he does is shit on the left. So let's see how this exchange goes. With Warren, because she has a plan for everything, but she's never well, implemented a plan for anything. Well, it's not just Elizabeth Warren, it's Bernie Sanders. And I mean, if you, if you take what they're saying to an extreme, what's next? Free vacations? You know, free housing, free everything. I mean, mm -hmm. at, at some point we do have we to pay were. for these things. I believe there is a role of government to, to do things to give people the kind of opportunity they deserve, like we've seen here in Detroit in the last couple of years, where we've seen a really good turnaround when the government and the private sector actually work together. And that's kind of how I think about the way we should be approaching everything. I thought it was a... Uh I thought it was very practical what you were saying last night. I thought you did a good job with that because we all knew that kid in school that, that beat you when you were running for student body president because they promised to put snack machines in all the classes. You know that's not going to happen, but the kids hear that and they want, you know, and they vote for that person. So I felt like that, that was your moment last night, even though the crowd really applauded Elizabeth Warren when she went back at you for basically saying, you're promising a lot. You're not going to be able to deliver this. Watch that, that part from last night. Democrats win when we run on real solutions, not impossible promises. When we run on things that are workable. You know, I don't understand why anybody goes to all the trouble of running for president of the United States just to talk about what we really can't do and shouldn't fight for. What's your reaction to that? I mean, you're running for president because you're being honest with the American people. I don't understand why people run and then they promise stuff and then it never happens. Well, that's the response um, when someone really can't defend their plans. So, for example, if, if John F. Kennedy, when he said we should go to the moon by the end of the, the decade in the 60s, someone could have said to him, well, you're not saying we, we should go to the moon next month, so you're not being ambitious enough. Right. Right. So, so it's a dishonest, kind of lazy response. It's similar to when they say it's a Republican talking point. You know, that's the problem with the, with the extreme left of the party. When you point out obvious flaws in the things they're talking about, they say, well, that's a Republican talking point. Right. And I'm like, no, it's actually a fact that you should be able to defend. No, it's not a fact, and we can defend it, and you're just not listening because you're an ideologue and you're married to your, your current set of beliefs. Now, that set of beliefs include Medicare for all is impossible and it doesn't make sense. How about you respond to this point? Every other developed country has one version or another of a single-payer healthcare system. And they have better health outcomes than we do. Everybody's covered, and it costs less. So, no, the reason why they say it's a Republican talking point is because it is a Republican talking point, and the reason why they say it is because it's true. There's John Delaney is the worst of the worst because he is smug and arrogant along with being factually wrong about virtually everything he fucking talks about. So I can't stand this guy because all that was was straw man central, baby. All he did, um, oh, that response from Elizabeth Warren is the same response when someone can't defend their plans. Actually, no, she can defend her plans. You just don't listen to her response. You just act like, how are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for it? Okay, well, you know, for, for Bernie in the case of the free college bill, let's take. How are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for it? Um, Wall Street transaction tax. But how are you going to pay for it? I just told you. Were you not listening? Did you not care? Wall Street transaction tax. <laughs> uh, offering all this free stuff. How are you even going to pay for it, bro? I just said it twice. Did you not hear it? Wall Street transaction tax. <laughs> There you go again, bro, promising everybody everything without a plan to pay for it. We're answering your fucking question, and you're not listening and digesting it, because you know what? You're the one who has no real response. All you have is, like, scorn based on nothing but a lazy assumption that the status quo is how it is for a reason, and therefore it should kind of stay like that, and the best we can do is tweaks around the edges. You're the one who has no real response. That's why you don't respond to what we actually say. That's why when you say Medicare for all is impossible, and we say every country has one version or another of a single-payer system and they're better than ours, your response is, I'm gonna go to Fox News because they'll defend me there.
Well, you're right. I hope you're having fun with all your new friends who are telling you you're so intelligent and you're so on point. Oh yeah, by the way, all those people who are talking to you are massive idiots who've never been right about anything ever. Thank you very much. Um, the lead in question... This guy's such a dishonest prick. The leading question was Kilmeade saying, Warren has a plan for everything, but she's never implemented a plan for anything. Except the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which was dead in the water until she forced President Obama to include it in uh, the Dodd-Frank reform bills after the subprime mortgage crisis and the Great Recession. And as a result of that... B -b 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 billions of dollars have been returned to defrauded Americans. Big financial institutions screwing over regular Americans because of her agency that she created. People got their money back. And justice was served. So when you say that, and Delaney's more than happy to sit there and let them lie and say, oh yeah, no, totally, yeah, she never did anything. And then I like, again, shows you how lazy he is. He goes, ha, what's next? Free vacation? Free housing? Free everything? Nobody argued for free everything because nobody believes in free everything. People have argued for free vacation, again, because other countries have free vacation. Now, it varies uh, which place you go to and what percentage is played by the place of em employment versus the government. So there is a conversation to be had in those instances, but... The idea that free vacation is like crazy, the idea that free housing is crazy, hey John, if you followed the literature on this, you would know that it actually saves money based on various studies. It saves money to put a roof over the head of a homeless person. Why? Because when they're out there in the street, what ends up happening? They have multiple run-ins with law enforcement and they get arrested, they have to go, uh, you know, they take drugs and then they have to go to the hospital and they get their... And that needs to get paid for by the taxpayers because they don't have the money to, to pay for getting help with an overdose or whatever it might be. When they're on the street, it costs more money to the taxpayer than if you give them like a small studio apartment with a room, roof over their head. So he framed these things that there's already like a lot of, of, of evidence on and studies for and... And there's precedent in other countries in dealing with this stuff. All these things he just smugly scoffs at as if they're crazy. When really the crazy one is him because he's running for president. And he hasn't even bothered to learn anything about the way other countries, developed countries function. Whether it be the free vacation or free uh, housing or, or Medicare for all or single payer health care or uh, free college or whatever it might be. So, I mean, he's so embarrassing, man. And... He doesn't have a leg to stand on, but now, you know what, at least he's going to his political home. His political home is more on Fox News, because he agrees with them more. Just keep it real. Okay, John Delaney does not hate gay people, does not hate black people, might be in favor of some versions of gun reform. That's all true and fine and dandy. But John Delaney is against the defining policy issues on the left today. The defining issues. And you know, you know them, and I know them, and this is what Bernie Sanders is leading on. So, okay, if you disagree with, like, the main things that it would mean to be on the left, what are you doing, dog? What are you doing? Just be honest with yourself. Go primary Trump as a Republican. You'd fit in a lot better, although you'd have 0% there as well.